Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My brothers, my sisters, do you realize that a third of Ramadan is already over? Has your life changed? Have you taken it seriously? Do you realize you may not witness the end of Ramadan? Do you realize this may just be the last Ramadan? May Allah make it easy for us. Do you engage in all sorts of acts of worship in Ramadan? The charities, the prayer, the recitation of the Quran, the dhikr, the fasting, and whatever else you could do. Are you doing a lot in Ramadan? If not, Take it seriously. A few more days remaining, to be honest, before you know it, it's going to be over. My brothers, my sisters, tonight I would like to share with you something powerful. Do you know the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, used to make some beautiful supplications? The Imam in Salat al Witr reminded me of this beautiful dua that we always make and we should be learning it because it's a sunnah. Allahumma qasim lana min khashiyatika ma tahulu bihi baynana wa bayna ma'asiyatik. Oh Allah, a portion for us, distribute to us, give us, grant us a share of khashiyah. Khashiyah is the awe of Allah, the, the fear of Allah to a degree. The combination of that fear of Allah where it makes you want to do the right thing. You're conscious of him, the khashiyah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I fear Allah and I'm conscious of him and I know that he is all able, all capable and he may punish and he can and would if one would deserve it. But his mercy is greater than that, inshallah. However, oh Allah, Give us a portion of khashiyah, of this God consciousness, of this fear of yours, O Allah, that is sufficient to keep us away from sin. That which creates a barrier between us and sin, that which is transgression against your command. So it means you're asking Allah to give you just enough, just the right portion of consciousness, or should I say of the fear of his, which is known as khashiyah, that would keep you away from sin. My brothers and sisters, when you stay away from sin, it's definitely a sign of the love of Allah for you. When you are powerful enough to stay away from sin, it's the help of Allah that has kept you that way and your determination that Allah granted you. So be determined and you should know that came from Allah. Be strong when it comes to sin, just stay away. You don't need to. Allahumma qasim lana min khashiyatika ma tahulu bihi baynana wa bayna ma'asiyatik. Keep repeating that dua. It will really, really help you. The dua continues. Allahumma qasim lana min khashiyatika ma tahulu bihi baynana wa bayna ma'asiyatik. Wa min ta'atika ma tuballighuna bihi jannatak. Grant us enough of your obedience that would help us to reach our goal, which is paradise. So give us from the obedience that we from the obedience and acts of worship and the fulfillment of your commands, sufficiency that would allow us entry into paradise, obviously through the mercy of Allah. مِن طَاعَتِكَ مَا تُبَلِّغُنَا بِهِ جَنَّتَكَ وَمِنَ الْيَقِينَ مَا تُهَوِّنُ بِهِ عَلَيْنَا مَصَائِبَ الدُّنْيَا And O oh Allah, grant us enough conviction in you that would make easy for us the hardships and the difficulties of this world. سبحان الله ومتعنا اللهم بأسماعنا وأبصارنا وقواتنا أبدا ما أبقيتنا أن أو الله grant us grant us benefit and goodness and let us be be comforted by let us benefit from the faculties of our hearing and our sight and our strength and energies for as long as you keep us alive. Imagine you're asking Allah, Oh Allah, grant us goodness in the use of these faculties. Make it such that when we use these faculties, we use them to enhance our comfort in this world. The way I use my eyes, the way I use my ears, the way I use my energies. That's a powerful dua. So let's repeat this dua. Allahumma qasim lana min khashiyatika ma tahulu bihi baynana wa bayna ma'asiyatik wa min ta'atika ma tuballighuna bihi jannatak wa min al-yaqeen ma tuhawinu bihi alayna masaib al-dunya wa matti'na Allahumma bi asma'ina wa absarina wa quwatina abadam ma abqaytana wa ja'alhu al-waritha minna and let it be that which is inherited from us. 
And let it be that which is a mark for us and for those who are after us, inshallah. May Allah Almighty make it easy. In fact, it continues. Let me spend a few moments. Uh, oh Allah, let that uh, sufficiency, let the revenge and let you know enough energy, enough power be against those who are against us. You know, let us be victorious against those who have ha- oppressed us, those who've harmed us. Give us that edge above them. Don't allow them to succeed over us. Make us victorious against those who have portrayed enmity against us. Similar dua. Oh Allah, don't make it difficulty. Don't create difficulty in our faith, in the practicing of our faith, in our religion. Oh Allah, help us that difficulty is not created for us in the practicing of our own faith. A lot of people have difficulty practicing their faith, especially as Muslims, be it reverts, be it others. Here is a dua. That's an amazing dua. Oh Allah, don't make our difficulty, our hardship in our deen, in the practice of our faith. And don't make this worldly life the main center point of our you know, worry and concern. Don't make it my main concern. What's your main concern on earth? People say, well, to earn a living, to have a lovely home, to have all worldly things. And Allah Almighty is telling you, don't let that happen. Here's a dua, the Prophet, peace be upon him, says, it shouldn't be your main focus. Your main focus is the hereafter. But yes, that's a secondary focus. That is something you will live in temporarily. That's why he says, وَلَا تَجْعَلِ الدُّنْيَا أَكْبَرَ هَمِّنَا وَلَا مَبْلَغَ عِلْمِنَا Don't make this world the height of our knowledge we learn and everything we learn is only about this worldly life and we haven't learned anything about the the hereafter so many people are guilty of this where they spend a large chunk of their lives learning about how to live the few more years that they will have when they are done with that with that but they haven't learned about the hereafter which is to come that's why Allah Almighty says, وَلَا تَجْعَلِ الدُّنْيَا أَكْبَرَ هَمِّنَا وَلَا مَبْلَغَ عِلْمِنَا وَلَا إِلَى النَّارِ مَصِيرَنَا And don't let our final abode be hellfire. وَلَا إِلَى النَّارِ مَصِيرَنَا وَجْعَلِ الْجَنَّةَ هِيَ دَارَنَا وَقَرَارَنَا And let paradise be our final abode uh, there where we're going to live forever. So that is just a portion of the beautiful dua that we hear. I'm going to repeat it in the Arabic language for those of you who want to hear it. اللهم قسم لنا من خشيتك ما تحول به بيننا وبين معصيتك ومن طاعتك ما تبلغنا به جنتك ومن اليقين ما تهون به علينا مصائب الدنيا ومتعنا اللهم بأسماعنا وأبصارنا وقواتنا أبدا ما أبقيتنا واجعله الوارث منا واجعل ثأرنا على من ظلمنا وانصرنا على من عادانا ولا تجعل مصيبتنا في ديننا ولا تجعل الدنيا أكبر همنا ولا مبلغ علمنا ولا إلى النار مصيرنا واجعل الجنة هي دارنا وقرارنا May Allah Almighty protect all of us and grant us the beauty of this dua. Remember the translation into the English language waters it down. I just wish that we could understand it straight from the Arabic. So beautiful, so powerful. These words need to be repeated and they are in Qunut in many places across the world. Barakallah feekum, my brothers and sisters. Remember to take these nights seriously. Aqulu qawli hadha wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.